hours late. We apologize for any inconvenience. Are you serious? It took us over an hour to get here, two hours going through security and getting our tickets, and now we have to wait another two hours. Yeah, it's beautiful here, but we're inside this overcrowded airport all day because the plane is stuck in bad weather. This is the last time we ever do this. When we get back, we're going to Cal Aviation and getting our pilot's license. Yeah, we've been talking about that long enough. It's about time we did it. Then we can just fly ourselves and never have to deal with this mess again. Right. No long lines, no full body groping security, no baggage checks. Not to mention never losing your luggage. Remind me again why we haven't done that? Well, we're idiots. Oh, right. Uh, attention all passengers for flight 1370. It looks like the plane is going to be delayed a little bit longer. The airline has lost the pilot's luggage. Isn't it time you got your pilot's license? Call Ocala Aviation today. 352-861-7484. That's 352-861-7484. Hey, you earned it. Call today. Uh, the sound of the bat cracking. The crowd cheering. The smell of overpriced but tasty hot dogs. The memories that will last a lifetime of your first baseball game with little Johnny. Your team wins. It was a great night until you get home. It's 9 p.m. and your wife says you have no water. We have no water. What do you do? What do you do? Rule number one, don't panic. Remain calm. Okay, that's two rules. We don't have time for jokes, funny man. Okay, think back. On the way home, you heard a radio commercial. Mike's got plumbing. If water runs through it, we do it. Eureka, you saved the day. You remembered that Mike Scott Plumbing doesn't charge extra for nights, weekends, or holidays. You are a genius. Hey, Mr. Genius, did you remember the phone number? Of course you did. Remember, you're a genius. 352-237-2888. Because at Mike Scott Plumbing, if water runs through it, we do it. Even if water's not running through it at this particular moment. Mike Scott Plumbing. It's time for new windows that will beautify your home and bring you immediate energy savings. Renewal by Anderson of Central Florida is more than the window leader in quality. They install the name brand Homeowners Trust. Visit RenewalByAnderson.com for a free in-home consultation with the pros. Right now, buy one window, get one 40% off. Plus, no money down, 0% interest, and zero payments for 12 months with approved credit. Visit RenewalByAnderson.com. Offer ends May 31st. License CGC 1523333. All right, five minutes after 8 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. Beautiful looking day. See, the, that guy was talking about windows. Look at this. If we didn't have a window, we couldn't see how beautiful it would be. Yeah. Li- we'd be in a cave. Exactly. I think windows are an overlooked invention, I, I, an, an underappreciated invention. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I love windows. Even Fred Flintstone had windows. Yeah, he I don't did. Think, I don't think they were glass. No. I think they were just holes. But even a hole is better than nothing. That's right. You can look out like a porthole. These, these are the things I think about. <laughs> How underappreciated the inventor of the window. We don't even know who the inventor of the window is. No. You know, no, yesterday, yesterday was the anniversary of the invention of the recliner, though. I don't know if you knew that. Oh, I didn't know that, but that's yeah. a good fact. It's a good fact to know. <laughs> Galen Unold is on the phone from Life South Community Blood Center. Good morning, Galen. Hey, good morning, Larry, Robin. How are y'all? Pretty good. Hey, I heard Dan Martone's team won on Friday. <laughs> yeah. He carried us. <laughs> uh, How was it? Actually, was, really well. I mean, he played outstanding. It was so fun. You had, a, you had a good time. Yeah, yeah, it was great. It was, um, you know, we were really worried about the weather, and at about eleven thirty, it just unloaded. Really? Um, it's like every raindrop in the in the world came and fell on that golf course, and uh, by about twelve thirty five ish, it stopped. Um. And so we were able to play, and it never rained again. And so it turned out to be a beautiful day. So uh, really, really great day. No, oh, nice. So thank you for everybody's support. And uh, we raised a lot of money for our foundation, and so um, it'll go to good use. How does that money get used? How? Yeah, tell us about that a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So you know, uh, the five points of life. Its its mission is to raise awareness for the five ways that you can save a life through donation. And, and our real goal is to to raise the donation generation. And so we go to every school uh, in in the southeast, basically, in Florida, Georgia, and Alabama, um, and we teach kids about what donation means and, and why it's so important so that when they become old enough, there will no longer be blood shortages. There will no longer be a shortage on the marrow and, and organ and tissue. Um, and so that's that's our whole role. And so just last year, we, we educated almost 50,000 kids through this program at zero cost to the student or to the school system. Huh. Um, and, and we come in and we do a fully interactive uh, 
process where they they make blood and uh it's it's really cool and and then of course we have our kids marathons where we're really trying to promote wellness and um and every kid that that finishes the the marathon gets a t-shirt and a medal and that's absolutely free for all the kids and so that's where that funding goes to and it also goes to help pay for people to get signed up for the marrow donation and things like that so uh, the marrow registry so that's that's where that money goes as well as life court do we have any pockets in this country that are either like extraordinarily good at, at donating blood or extraordinarily poor like do you have any areas of the yeah. country that you just can't you can't for some reason get the the citizens of that city to figure out you got to give blood mm-hmm well, what, what you have is you have pockets of what they call, you know, pockets of excellence in, in medical treatment. Um, so, for example, if you look at if, if, if you look at Baltimore, Maryland, Washington, D.C., um, for example, Johns Hopkins uses more blood than any other hospital in the country. And they could not draw enough to become self-sufficient. They just couldn't. Mm. It's just not possible because people come from all over the world to Johns Hopkins for health care. But at the same time, if you know the America's breadbasket, um, they use the least amount of blood and they get the most amount of blood donors. Really, those those places are are usually sending blood from you know to places like California and New York and Baltimore, Chicago, uh, places like that, even into Atlanta, um, where it, where there's a high volume of blood users. Yeah, yeah, and and that's how. That's how Life South works. So we have areas, for example, Levy County. Um, in Levy County, we draw twice as many uh, percentage of the population than we do in any other county that we serve. Uh, just, uh, you know, you could, you could write a thesis on, on why, but and they don't even have a hospital there. So uh, that's an example of where we, we draw from a population that has a very low blood usage in that county and so it all goes to Shands because that's where those people go for health care. Anyway. Wow, wow. It's, in, it's, it's interesting that the, the, the big cities of the two coasts, New York and L.A., are the ones getting it when they have millions of people that could be donating it. Isn't that yeah, interesting? And, and mm-hmm. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, and it's also because they have millions of people, they have very high blood volumes. And the same goes for, like, Philadelphia mm-hmm. has a high blood volume. And, um, and, and on the, on, in California, it's L.A., uh, LA, it's they have the major populations, and that's where you. Whenever you have a teaching hospital like we do at Gainesville with Shands, um, you're going to get in higher blood usage because they're going to be doing surgeries and procedures that are more likely to use blood. So you you know level one trauma centers, things like that. So. Well, we're just ex- extremely grateful for all the people that do come out to do that. And mm. it, Absolutely. and um, now that graduation is here, the students uh, won't be donating as much as they do during the school year, and the students are like the uh, driving force for donators. Yeah, well, they're, you know, they're 25% of it, you know, is, is either college or high school students, and that's a, that's a huge chunk of the population. So it, it, just think of it this way. If, you're bi- if your business all of a sudden lost 70 or 25 percent of its business for four months you know it, it, it's like what am i going to do uh and that's that's where we're at right now we have to kind of figure out how we're going to fill that void and it takes months and months of planning hmm. hopefully it'll work <laughs> it will yesterday we went to a, a graduation for Van, a vanguard student graduated yeah and, oh great and uh, and the, and the one thing you tell us all the time is that how it is those that age group that really is the biggest uh, blood donors mm-hmm. but there was something else about this graduation that made me realize that this generation that's coming up is really going to change the world do you know galen that every ethnicity that is in this community was represented there not as token but i mean as in large numbers yeah. Oh, absolutely. As whole families, yeah. I mean, as there were whole, whole families yeah. of, of black folks and white folks and, and mm-hmm. Hispanic folks and people who probably were, um, you know, from the Middle East, and it mm-hmm. just it was just really really awesome to see everybody together and just having having a good time mm-hmm. and and no and nobody was there like the token person, the one feeling like, oh my gosh, I'm the only yeah. whitey here, you know? Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was wonderful. Yeah, it's a very cultural culturally diverse school you know i mean i, I just because my son goes there now i really get to see it on a daily basis and and it's it's really interesting and there's not 
because I ask my son about that all the time. You know, he's in the IV program there. I'm like, is it that clicky down racial lines? He goes, what? No. Nobody cares. <laughs> really? Well, that, and, and, and that's I, wonderful. And I, and I think you're right. I mean, if you, if you really break it down, um, if segregation stopped uh, effectively, at least in our area, in about 78-ish, uh, but it really didn't take hold um, I think until the, the mid to late 80s. And so this is really, we're starting to get into this first group, this whole generation Y. Uh, it's going to be the first group that comes out with a very culturally diverse educational system. And I think that's starting to blend over into all aspects of our, of our country. And I, and I think that's a good thing. I really, really do. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, re- I really do. I mean, today is um, national... Uh, um, n- what was it again? Right? Native American Heritage Day. Native something? American Heritage Day. Yeah, so I mean, you want to be proud. Hey, <laughs> right. good job. I mean, yeah. my day. <laughs> Today's your I'm day. Not going to work today. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I, I, my boss, why am I here? Today? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You better bring in some ethnic food. What would be an ethnic food if Native? Oh, gosh. What would it be corn? I don't know. Uh, yeah, maize. What are we? I'm going to break out some maize. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. People ask me that all the time. Oh, so. What, what do you guys eat? <laughs> what do you guys I, eat? I really hear that. I'm like, well, you know, we eat, we eat a lot of herbs. And, uh, what does the music sound like? You know, my wife my wife goes and does a gathering, and I go out and do the hunting. And I go off, and they realize that I'm joking. You know? It's too funny. It's too funny. Oh, my gosh. And, and uh, the kids basket weave. I mean, that's, that's what kids do. That's right. <laughs> Uh, well, today is national. I, I was just, that's going to be the fun with Joe game today. <laughs> <We'll see. laughs> so, uh, how how is the blood supply right now? We're we're okay. We're we have a four day blood supply, but we again um, we are we are short of O's right now, and then we need a free donor. So, uh, what that boils down to is we need everybody just to get out there and get to get the life and donate blood. The uh, by the way, we had a nice compliment from Jan uh, on fr- was it Friday, Jan Friday. Came from uh, Palm Garden. Uh, th- the the way we the way we promote what they do and what pe- what pen flooring does. I always I always look at it this way. It's kind of easy for us because if you're doing a good job and you let us know what you do, so we understand it. Mm-hmm. And in their case, we we we've been there. So, but I mean, it's it's. It, uh, if I were if I were an advertiser, I would always get I would do the Arthur Godfrey. The Arthur Godfrey way of advertising is to get the the host to actually read it, yes, or actually talk about it mm-hmm. on a regular basis, rather exactly. than a recorded thing that goes over and over. I know it's easier to have a recorded thing, but mm-hmm. I don't know. So I have two businesses to tell you about. <laughs> <laughs> one of them is go. one of them is pen flooring, and pen Ooh, flooring has great. some beautiful flooring. Gosh, the house we were in yesterday had beautiful flooring. Yes. And uh, so go. Go, go to pen flooring. What, what a difference it really does make, too. Uh, I need to do it myself. My, my bathroom looks horrible. <laughs> <laughs> my whole house looks horrible. Uh, <laughs> go to 1201 Southwest 17th Street. Maybe you'll see me there. Go thank the folks at Pen Flooring for providing us uh, this opportunity to uh, have Galen on the phone. And, and in addition to encouraging us to donate blood, it's it's, it's more than that. It's more, to, more than about having fun. I do have some, by the way, some sports trending stories today I want to share with you. I forgot to tell you what we're doing. But but it's also about the other little things that you learn about. Like, uh, I mean, like just now we just learned about, you know, pockets of, of the of the nation that are or the more generous when it comes to donating blood than others. Exactly. Yeah. And I th- actually in the demographic uh it seems like the young people are doing a better job. And, they, and maybe that's because of the work you're doing with the, the, the five points of life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I wish. But um, they're just now getting to for, the, for their donor age. So, yeah, mm-hmm. we'll know in another five or six years. But we, we do have kids who, oh, you know, I did all the five points of life in the classroom. And, um, and that, that's always good. But we haven't seen it. Is that a national yet. program? Is it all over the country? Uh, we have it in the southeast. And then there are some other states in which they have used our program um yeah i think it's by far and away the best out there there are others but it's not as uh inclusive or as a, as encompassing as ours i'll put it that way so the other business we want to thank before we go to the break is palm garden of course yes. they have a wonderful facility if you have ever had a need for yourself or a loved one to have a facility that has long-term skilled nursing care right there in the building 
then you know how important it is. That's what Palm Garden provides. They have um, you know, rehab opportunities for somebody who's just uh, come out of the hospital and before going home, you want a place to rehabilitate. Well, there's your place right there. Um, you, we want to take, gra- uh, take grandma someplace comfortable while you go on a vacation or take mm-hmm. mom someplace while you go shopping or just a day off. You know, if you, t- being a caregiver is a not easy job to, it's to hard. do. Um, the folks over there will help you with that. And, and she doesn't even have to spend the night. Mm-mm. But but I guarantee you, she's going to have a good time. She's going to get into the society of the place. It's, yeah. a, it's a social environment. She's going to play bingo, mm-hmm. watch watch whatever kind of activities. Maybe they have an entertainer coming in with an accordion and a mandolin. Yeah, never can tell. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, go to Palm Garden and uh, say thank you for sponsoring Life South and Galen Unold's segment. All right, on the other side, I have a story about a wiener dog. <laughs> it's in the right. it's in the sports the trending sports column today. We'll be right back. The weather is brought to you by myfwc.com. Safe boating is no accidents. For Monday, partly sunny and quite pleasant. The high 84 to 89. Mainly clear Monday night, though 63 in a few inland spots near 70 along the coast. For Tuesday, partly sunny and quite warm. High 85 to 90. And Wednesday, more the same. Partly sunny. The high 84 to 89. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Get it for less at the DIY Home Center Outlet. Get top quality real wood cabinets the same or less than the big box stores are selling the cheap stuff. And that's not all. Drywall Screws big box stores are $6.47 a pound at DIY only $4.99. Plus DIY has the largest selection of mobile home parts and accessories anywhere. From carpet to doors, get the DIY supplies you need for less. The DIY Home Center Outlet. We are your building material closeout store. 2191 Northwest 10th Street, just two miles east of I-75. At Palm Garden of Ocala, we ask all Americans to take a moment from their day of leisure to reflect on the brave sacrifices of those who have given their lives for this great nation. For those veterans who stay with us for long-term care, we have special Memorial Day events to honor the fallen and a barbecue to celebrate the freedoms and life we all enjoy. Palm Garden has the privilege to serve many veterans who need short-term rehab following a hospital stay. Your veteran has the freedom to choose Palm Garden for all their rehab needs. Here's what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. Just a one degree increase in body temperature can make it harder to fall asleep and stay asleep. To make yourself twice as happy today or tomorrow or the next day, it's, it's very simple. Do five good deeds all in one single day. Get on LinkedIn. It turns out 89% of companies have used it to find new hires and post a professional looking photo. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. Need a mailbox rental but need more information? Remember, Personal Service Center, 789-6683. How does $10 a month sound with just a three-month commitment? Remember, Personal Service Center, 789-6683. Mention WOCA and the setup fee is waived. Personal Service Center will email or text notifications to you when your packages arrive. Even scan mail so you never actually have to pick it up. Now that's service. Personal Service Center, 789-6683. Located on the corner of Northeast 25th Avenue and 24th Street, Ocala. Look for the yellow signs. Hi, this is JP from Penn Flooring here in Ocala. I would like to invite you to come in and visit our spacious showroom where we have solutions for every style and budget. From wall-to-wall carpet to hardwood floors and tiles, we have an unsurpassed selection of flooring. At Penn Flooring, we've provided quality customer service with a family touch for over 25 years. Visit our website at penflooring.com or come by our showroom, 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the bridge. Penn Flooring, quality customer service with a family touch. 21 minutes after 8 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. Nice looking, uh, just more than nice. It's beautiful, beautiful looking Monday morning. It's, it's getting exciting. I always get excited this time of year because the summer is about to kick off. Mo- Memorial Day is coming up. Fourth of July is coming up. Flag Day is coming up, right? Oh, I know. It's such fun. It's always uh, it's always a good thing, right? And you live in Florida, so you kind of get a head start with the rest of the country. But um, Have you ever had a musical instrument you wanted to play, Galen? Oh, just the guitar, just because you pick up a chick. <laughs> <laughs> so you never wanted to try, try a harp or try a like a, 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 yeah. a, a sitar or anything like that? No. A, a horn? No, a, no. a saxophone? No. 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 <laughs> I, it just has no appeal to me. It, it's, it, I look at like a musical instrument the way you look like at a baseball bat or a golf club. 
Really? I have no interest in touching that. Really? Yeah. I mean, it got, but isn't a baseball bat a baseball bat? Is it, or, or uh, is there really one like the coveted bat? Is no. There, oh, I didn't think no. so. No, every bat's a little unique. Every golf club's a little unique. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you, you know, like a baseball glove. You know, you, you don't put your hand <laughs> in another man's baseball glove without permission. Oh, really? That's true, because you can mess it up. What yeah. would you say? If, I, if, yeah. if you caught me putting my hand in your baseball glove, <laughs> what would you say to me? Get your hand out what of my... What are you doing? <laughs> I'm like, you, you, you just messed it up. Your hands are like twice the size of mine. Oh, man. I would what feel so doing? bad. No, I, you, I, don't, you don't do that. I would say, oh, I'm so <laughs> sorry. Do not do that. I would feel so bad. I'd go buy you a new one. I, f- I wouldn't know. See, I wouldn't but, know. But if I went up to your accordion and just grabbed it and started squeezing it, what would you do? I'd say, cool. What are you doing? What's that song called? <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. What about if it's a trumpet? Like yeah, I guess, then, I guess then you have spit in it. Yeah, that's I can't. Fun. I can't tell you how many times I we were when we were playing at Silver Springs a lot. A lot of people came up to me and said, "Hey, I play according," and I would say, "Well, you want to give it a shot?" Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's that's pretty. <laughs> rude, no, no, that's a little. Now, if they ask for permission, it's a little different. Oh, okay. Um, but if they just come up and they see it there and like just start playing with it, you're going to be like, "Hey, what are you doing?" Exactly. Is true with a bat or a golf club. Like if if I'm at the range and you just come up and. Oh hey, I saw this driver. I wanted to try it. <laughs> yeah. Start hitting you. Go, what the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? <laughs> yeah, you got to respect other people. Get your own clubs. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Yeah, absolutely. Like I wouldn't have Dan hit my clubs. That would <laughs> it would probably devalue. Well, he saved the day for you guys, though. <laughs> uh, is that what he said? <laughs> No. No, that's what no, we no, that's okay. what we said we were going to say. That's what we said we were going to say. <laughs> no, we haven't seen Dan. I mean, hey, <laughs> Rob was trying to get you in trouble. <laughs> Rob was trying he to cause trouble. like five strokes, so it wasn't very close. But um, <laughs> it was we we played with two guys who are without us would have probably done better. I mean, <laughs> oh. they, they're they're really really good. So. Thank you, Drew. Thank you, Steve. All right, so you, want, so you want to hear about some of the trending stories? These aren't as great as some days when I have trending stories, but here we go. All right, let's do it, as long as it includes the Red Sox, because they're the best team. I think there is a Red Sox far. story in here. <laughs> I, I believe All right, so. Well, you can just finish with that or start with that. I believe, sure no, I want to oh, I do have a, I want to start with the Wiener they're Dog story. great right now. After dropping games right. one and two of the Eastern Conference Finals yes. to the Cleveland Cavaliers by decisive margins, the Toronto Raptors need all the help they can get to stay alive. Perhaps the team should take another look at the Crusoe, the celebrity dox hunt. <laughs> A celebrity wiener dog with his own Instagram account, which posted Crusoe's tryout video two weeks ago. You got to see this video. I put it on my Facebook page. <laughs> I've seen it. It's pretty funny. Yeah, it's kind of funny. All right. All right, let me go to the uh, Red Sox story. That was pretty good. Yeah, I mean, Jackie Bradley Jr. Go ahead. Let's see. Oh, the, head, the headline, like the headline says, Red Sox fan flubs dive for Ortiz's ground rule double. <laughs> it was awesome. Did you see this? Have I, you seen the video? I did see this. Seen the video? this. Okay, so David Ortiz hits a, a ball out to right field that hits in right field and then bounces over the fence for a ground rule double. There's a fan, and the fan probably weighs 320. Yeah, 320 he's, he was a heavy guy. Yeah, heavy guy, yeah. All right, and, and the ball's coming at him, and he dives. It's probably <laughs> the most athletic move the guy has made in you know, 150 <laughs> pounds. I, I mean, it was incredible. He yeah. fully laid out. Yeah, he did. <laughs> ball hits his hand and bounces off. And so he makes this huge play, destroys his wife in the process, or some woman sitting next to him. <laughs> it still doesn't get the ball. It was it was great? I was like, oh my gosh, and uh, that was that was hilarious. There was something he bumped into too. I couldn't tell if it was a seed or, or a piece of railing or something. He moves. Couldn't tell. It couldn't tell. And uh, the the announcers are like, wow, he really really went after that one. <laughs> yeah, he did. It's he incredible. Did. I mean, I you know, it just tells you how well they built these stadiums. I mean, you got. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta see it. It's pretty funny. All right, now the next one, I did see this video also, and I did think that this guy really is uh, intentionally kicking the other guy in the groin. Oh. Draymond Green gets flagrant <laughs> one for kicking Steve Adams in the groin. Did you see this video? I did. It was an ultimate cheap shot. Yes. It really was. He'll get. I wonder if he'll get this. I wonder if he'll get suspended. And they have that option to go back after the game and, and review it. 
Oh man, um, if you look at that video, he don't kick a man there, right, Larry? You know that everybody knows that. <laughs> but don't, it happens accidentally sometimes. There. But that was not accidental. So, there's there's it, no way. Correct. Absolutely. There's no yeah. way. All right, so uh, anybody want to know what it says? It says, with five minutes, 57 seconds left in the first half of Sunday's game, three of the Western Conference Finals, Oklahoma City Thunder, big man Steve uh, Stephen Adams got kicked in the last spot any man ever wants to get kicked. Oh, jeez. Yeah. And if you look at the video, there you go. It's 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 evident. Right, here's, yeah. Right, here's, yeah, I don't know how it's... No right, here's, instant replay Here's on one that. from the uh, Florida Gators uh, girls softball team, w- late women's softball yeah. team, sorry. Mm-hmm. The headline says, Florida Gators second base, was that a base woman? Catches defense, napping, steals home after bases loaded walk. Did you see this? No. Yeah. What does that mean? It means that she she so, got she got an easy home run or an oh, easy, easy okay. point. No, it wasn't a home run. but um, Point. So what happened was that the bases are loaded. Um, the pitcher walked in a run, right? So... The player is running, basically walking very gently from third base home, but the runner at second base sees everybody's turned around, and so she just keeps coming because the ball's still in play. It's not a dead ball, and scored from second base on a walk. It was it was pretty heads up baseball and really really sloppy play. I forgot who they were playing, Georgia Southern or something yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, but it, and they they blew them out. But it was a. Uh, really really sloppy play by the defense but it makes me wonder it makes me wonder how um a story like this that becomes a national story actually increases the attendance at the games because you know because you, yeah, you, you would see this video you go oh i didn't you know i should go see one of those games yeah exactly it's pretty well they exciting. were they, they you know florida defending national champions in softball they do pretty well in attendance but they only get like five thousand people at a game so. That's pretty good, though. That is not bad, yeah. Yeah. We went to a baseball game at the Gators, and I don't think there was even 200 people there. No, huh? It yeah. was for the fellas' baseball team. All right, where's the Bloodmobile today? Ten well, seconds. now they're number one in the country. They get a lot. All right. Uh, we are at the Walgreens in Bellevue. Walgreens in Bellevue. Go Next donate blood. Office. Make us one of the most generous blood donor <laughs> con- counties in the country. <laughs> yes. There you go. Thank, Thank you, Galen. You Thanks, Larry. Bye, all. We'll be right back. Pat O'Neill, President Obama in the midst of his historic visit to Vietnam. The president lifting an arms embargo that he calls a vestige of the Cold War. A ban that's based on uh, an ideological uh, division between our two countries. He said there'll be more military cooperation with Vietnam. Fox Radio's Alistair Wanklin in Hanoi. The president also trying to bolster trade between the two nations. Friends gathering in Leicester, Massachusetts last night to remember Officer Ronald Tarantino, who was fatally shot during a weekend traffic stop. Leaning on each other, just strangers hugging, you know, and that's how it was here. The manhunt for the suspected gunman ended last night when 35-year-old Jorge Zambrano was killed in a shootout with police. A judge expected to hand down a verdict today in the trial of one of six Baltimore police officers charged in last year's death of Freddie Gray, who died while in police custody. Fox News, we report, you decide. Coming June 5th to Fox News Channel. It is a noble cause we are engaged in. Either freedom or slavery. This is an American army. Before a campaign. If we are to die. Before a party. Do not fire until you see the white of their eye. Let us die. A nation is born. As a free people. Bill O'Reilly presents Legends and Lies. The Patriots. Coming June 5th to Fox News Channel. The Republicans, the Democrats, two critical conventions, and only one network covers it all. Fair and balanced. Fox News Channel, starting July 18th, the Republican National Convention in Cleveland, Ohio. Then, starting July 25th, the Democratic National Convention in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The must-see political events are on Fox News Channel. We are America's election headquarters. here for Dairy Queen to tell you about some new and tasty foods. Two of the new items are the Royal Blizzard, packed with extra fruit or fudge, and the new bruschetta chicken, a hot baked sandwich on focaccia artisan bread. I know I had one for lunch and it was exceptional. Dairy Queen Silver Springs, where we always treat you like kings and queens. 
That was the sound of a tree falling. It could be your tree. You're going to have it trimmed, but never got around to calling Pride Tree Service. It could have fallen in a field, and now all you have to do is call Pride Tree Service, and they'll have it quickly out of the way for a great price. But don't wait until the tree falls. It may not fall in the field. It may hit your car, your house, or worse. So call Pride Tree Service today and avoid all those headaches before they happen. Pride Tree Service, 572-2510. That's 572-2510. Hi, this is Brad. I want to take a moment to talk about a serious issue. In the next five years, the aviation industry is projected to have a shortage of commercial pilots. Now is the time to start training. Ocala Flying Club has started a scholarship for the youth of Marion County, ages 17 to 24. The club will donate up to $4,000 towards a pilot's license. This will help get the student on their way to obtain their commercial pilot license. If this sounds like something you would be interested in, or if you know someone that would be, please contact Ocala Aviation Services, 861-7484. At Palm Garden of Ocala, we ask all Americans to take a moment from their day of leisure to reflect on the brave sacrifices of those who have given their lives for this great nation. For those veterans who stay with us for long-term care, we have special Memorial Day events to honor the fallen and a barbecue to celebrate the freedoms and life we all enjoy. Palm Garden has the privilege to serve many veterans who need short-term rehab following a hospital stay. Your veteran has the freedom to choose Palm Garden for all their rehab needs. At Ameris Bank, we understand that there is no purchase more exciting than the purchase of a new home. We are dedicated to helping you find the mortgage that meets your needs and giving you the personal attention you deserve. Our mortgage options offer a variety of benefits, including up to 100% financing, down payment assistance, and expansive credit qualifications, all with the competitive rates and exceptional service. Call Ameris Bank today or visit AmerisBank.com to learn more. We look forward to serving you. Ameris Bank is an equal housing lender and member of FDIC, a loan subject to credit approval. Putting the local back into radio. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. W-O-C-A News. Variety. Information. Now. Keep your arms and legs on the inside at all times. The most trusted name in news. Fox News. Every half hour. Only on 96.3 FM. 1370 AM. The Source. W-O-C-A. Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala! Come on, come on, come on. 